this body is also the same soil, this is also same soil, if there is an earthworm, that is also same soil. But see how it has become, how this has become, how that has become. If I give you, you like a mango or a banana? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. And uh, before we get into the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP, man. Thank you, thank you so much. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, and I know we can get to 10,000 in two days. Just let us get there, guys. And the most important thing, guys, we want to thank uh, everybody who's been giving us the reactions. Just keep us moving. What do you think? Keeps us moving, yeah? Yeah, I mean, thank you so much for giving us reactions. You're also the realest MVP. So today we're gonna do another reaction, and this one right here was suggested by anybody. Anyway, somebody suggested that we should react to uh, Sanguru. Every Muslim must watch this video, Sanguru on Eid, why we should not eat meat and cow in Islam. Without any further ado, guys, let's get it. We live in times when faith and spirituality have become very inflammable. Don't put them in the same basket. Okay, let's talk about faith first. Mm -hmm. We live in times when faith for certain has become a very inflammable, easily politicized conversation. If faith should have been personal today, it's not. Today you actually have decisions taken in the name of somebody's faith being injured. So you mentioned food right now. I read somewhere that you said there's nothing religious about the act of food, just eat what you like. No, 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 I didn't eat say that. Eat what's good for you? I said eat what's good okay, for you. Okay, eat what's good for it's you. It's a very different thing. Okay, I correct myself. <laughs> eat what's good for you. But today we have a highly politicized conversation around banning beef in the name of faith. It's definitely ha not good for you to eat it. Beef or any meat? I'll come to that. Finish okay. It, finish it. okay, so I'm offering that as one example of how I see a politicized conversation taking place around faith. How do you reconcile the faith of a large number of people with questions of individual liberty? Now, when it comes to food, what it means is we are taking another life, whatever that is, it may be plant life, animal life, whatever. You're taking another life, ingesting it and you have to make it your life. That's a whole thing. Mm. What is your life, what is that life if you look at it? All life on this planet is coming from the earth. Mm. This body is also the same soil, this is also same soil. If there is an earthworm, that is also same soil. But see how it has become, how this has become, how that has become. If I give you… you like a mango or a banana? Mango. Mango. <laughs> I know, you're, you're ruling the state right now <laughs> Now, if you eat a, ma a mango, this mango becomes a woman in you. If I eat a mango, the same mango becomes a man in me. If a cow eats a mango, the same mango becomes a cow in the cow. Why is this happening? There is a certain information or software in you, whatever you eat, it transforms it into a woman. If I eat, it transforms it into a man. If a cow eats, that becomes a cow. So every life is happening the way it is happening because of a certain dimension of information or in modern terminology, let's call it software. There hmm. is a certain software, hmm. which is an arrangement of information. Hmm. Now, the idea is to eat as simple a software as possible. If you eat that kind of life, which is a very simple software, your ability to override that software and make it entirely a part of you is very good. As that software gets com complex, more yes. and more complex, yes. your ability to integrate it goes down. So especially if it's a creature which has some sense of thought and emotion, if it has emotion, then you should not eat it. This is the understanding. Mm. An animal which has any emotion displays certain emotions, especially if it displays emotion which is near to human emotion, you should not eat it because it will not integrate itself, that animal nature will start manifesting itself. Or in other words, in India, today maybe in cities people do not know, you see in the villages, people have very intimate relationship with the cow. They have drunk the milk of that cow, their children are drinking the milk of that cow. There is a very deep relationship, if you do not know this, cow is one creature. If something happens to you, 
and you are in some kind of grief or misery, you don't have to be near the cow. Wherever the cow is in your house, it will st it will start shedding tears for you. You know, I've seen this with my eyes, I couldn't believe. When somebody is dead in the house, it… what does a cow know? It is somewhere, simply tears flowing. So when it has such deep emotions, if you kill it, it's like killing a human being, it's murder or it's cannibalism. So because of that, this is not a faith thing, mm. this is not a religious thing. We thought this is a fundamental sense. Why… when we are hungry, why can't I cut you up and eat you? What's wrong? I'm not even talking about cruelty, even cutting a plant is cruel in my experience. Mm. But you have to do it. But if you're conscious of it, you will do it to the minimum possible extent, not do it wantonly. That's the whole thing. Wow, what do you think? I mean, you're about this life, what do you think? I mean, I think it's… Um, what he's saying, it, it resonates with me because I'm a vegan, I don't consume dairy pork product or meat, uh, any uh, chicken or fish. I mean, it's… Um, for me, I feel it's not good to, to do it, like to kill other animals. As he said, like they have emotions just like you, you get it. I mean, the, anything that has emotion, I feel like it's not good to eat it. It's, it's, it's bad. For me, this is how I think. Um, when you when you kill that animal, when you okay, for example, you want to kill a chicken, what will the chicken do? A chicken will run for his life because he knows that you want to kill it. But you 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 end up getting that chicken and you end up killing it. That means that the chicken didn't want to die willingly, but you forced the chicken to die. So what's gonna happen is that um, all the pain, all the uh, what do you call this? Uh, maybe, okay, what you'll be eating is the pain for that chicken, you get it? And I mean, for me, I feel like you're eating karma, like what you're doing to that chicken is going to come back to you. That's how I feel. So, I mean, it's not really good to eat animals. I'm not disputing the people who are eating. If you're eating animals, um, try to eat uh, not too much, but again, you're you're one of those people who have accepted, like it's it's like you've already, um, it's like you're participating in the killings. You get it? Even if you say no, I didn't kill any animal, but you're still eating the animal uh, uh, or flesh or something, uh, something like that. I mean, that's my own point of view. You get it? I what mean, about those meats that come with the? Is it the halal stamp on it? Halal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, halal. That means. Um, it's consumable for Muslims, cause you know Muslim when they when they kill, but they it's they still pray. An animal. Yeah, it's still an animal. They pray and then they cut it like like see one two you make sure everything is gone. I think so. Someone just correct me. And then I think the act of praying is to to actually is it bless or say sorry for killing the animal, but we have to kill the animal for us to eat. I don't know, I think something like that. I don't know, I think Muslims, they have their own maybe ideology of if you want to kill somebody, we have to pray first because we don't have any other thing that we're supposed to eat, but we have this cow, so we have to pray and say sorry that we're killing uh, a living, uh, a living, uh, what, animal. You get I think that's the whole purpose of halal or something like that. You get it. I'm just wondering, so do you think it's fine in that case to eat meat? Again, for me, according to as me... As long as it's prayed for, is it fine? Uh, to me, whether whether prayed for, whether what, I feel it's not good. <laughs> for me, I feel it's not. I feel it's taking somebody's life. Is, imagine somebody coming to you and kill you and eating you. How would you feel about that? The same way, like, you can't keep a cow... Uh, and then at the end of it all, you want to kill it, you want to eat it. I mean, it's not good. Drinking the milk is not good. For me, all animals have um, emotions. Yes, all animals have emotions. All animals have emotions. Others have even strong emotions than human beings, you know that? Yeah, what animal? Uh, I know of an uh, elephant. Elephant, they are really intelligent animals. Mm. They are 
So if I eat an elephant, and baby elephant that really emotional, do you know baby elephant that really emotional? Wait, mm -hmm. have you ever heard of why are you ask like, like a baby elephant? No, it doesn't mean that when you eat an elephant, you become. No, he a, said the animal becomes part of you. You, but it doesn't mean that. When he said the animal become part of you, for me, according to my own understanding, is that when when the animal dies in pain, when you eat that animal, it's gonna be part of you. You. The pain will be part of you. Yeah, the pain will be part of you. You get it. So it, some things will happen into your life. You wonder why is it happening like this? But it's probably maybe because of you ate the pain of that animal. So the karma is just coming back to you. You get it. But I, I feel there's some ways you can. Uh, you can, you can, you know, try to overlook such kind of things. But again, for me, I feel like eating animals is not good. It's not really good. And again, um, health issues and stuff like that. I mean, all these things, you can't see, I mean, they are out there, but what can we do? We, we, at the end of the day, we want to survive. At the end of the day, we want to eat that uh, juicy, uh, uh, what do you call it? beef and stuff like that you get it i think i mean it's it's crazy man the world is just getting crazy so what do you think in your own perspective do you think it's good to kill animals the killing part you don't know i mean i've never killed one but people should be able to eat whatever they want to eat yeah but i'm, I'm asking you do you feel it's i don't know if it's true. do you feel it's good like okay let's go to the religious uh act of it since we are we are we are religious people yeah we are saying that we shouldn't kill we shouldn't you know what is some it people okay <laughs> killing somebody is just the same as killing an animal is it not That's the same an thing animal. No, it's not. so you want to tell me that animal doesn't have a soul it doesn't really matter people should do what they want no for me i feel even that animal you're killing has a soul so i mean just so what for, are we supposed to eat for me, uh, you're supposed to eat. I mean, the the closest thing that you can eat that doesn't have a lot of emotions or stuff like that are plants. Okay, there are other plants that have even emotions, but I was going to ask if plants don't have emotions. So some plants do have. I'm not saying. Okay, I don't know water? more about. Huh? Are we just supposed to drink water? Yeah, I mean, okay. There's a guy in India. Is it in India? He only eats sun and drinks water. By eating sun, I mean. He just goes out and sun gets bathing. yeah, sun bathing, uh, sun gazing, and all this type of thing. And the guy's been surviving for almost like is it sixty something years now? Okay, so what does that even tell you? It tells you probably back in those days, you were not even consuming animals and consume probably plants. So you believe he survived without food? It's possible for me. I feel it's possible. Trust me, very possible, because going out in the sun you know that's just downloading information by itself it's like you're eating but that's what we don't know they're not teaching us all these kind of things uh, i mean this world is run by people who want to benefit they get it so by putting a cow in front of you they get money at the end of the day i mean they want money circulation to go it's a system so but, at the end but of the everyone day, has a choice Ah, yeah, if everyone has a choice spend 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 or if you want to yeah. start your own garden in your backyard yeah there's no problem with that I have no issue with somebody because eating some meat or anything. Actually, GMO, so yeah, yeah, even even nowadays, even so if you're vegan, is safe. yeah, nothing Animals is safe. Not safe. Plants but it's safe. better to be safer than to be. How are you being safe if you consume GMO plants? No, I mean they're organic type of. Uh, what do you call? Are you the organic? I mean, you can you can you, okay. It's not hundred yeah, percent organic, all. but it's it's much safer. It's much safer. You get it. It's much safer compared to eating so much of meat and all these kind of things. Now, I'm not saying guys you shouldn't eat meat, it's born you I and mean, it's your life, but I feel in some type of way. If you feel like we reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in our comment section, tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video right here. Every Muslim must watch this video, Sanguru on Eid, why we should not eat meat and cow in Islam. And um uh, anyway, the most important thing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, the more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.